Hello, how are you today? My name is Chris of Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts, and I want to update you. I haven't updated you since the sunflower um, update that I gave you back in October, I believe it was. But anyway, now it's time for an update. We got through the holidays. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I got through the first part of January, recovered from the holidays, and now I'm on to crochet. And I'm going to have a sweetheart bash, but I want to share some other things with you before I talk about the sweetheart bash. The first thing I want to show you is something that I have made, that I've made in the past, I've designed in the past, and that's a chicken sweater. Who knew chicken sweaters were a thing? Well, a friend of mine asked me all oh, a few years ago, she asked me to design a chicken sweater for her chicken sparkle. Sparkle had molted and then she was babysitting the friend's dog and the friend's dog pulled out any feathers that Sparkle had growing back and Sparkle was cold. And I was like, oh, okay, Miss Jenny, I'll make you a chicken sweater. Well, they were so cute. I thought, well, I'm going to uh, write the crochet pattern and my testers were so excited about that. So I wrote the pattern and you know, it has been one of my best selling crochet patterns. So I thought for the Valentine's season, I would make a chicken sweater that has the heart stitch on it. And see, this is how the chicken sweater works. And I actually kind of feel like now I have the hearts on upside down, but he, the chicken puts their head through and then their heads up like this, and then their bodies down like this. And then the chicken and then the little hearts as you're looking at the chicken this is their head then you see the little hearts I guess it just depends on which direction you're looking at the chicken but I love how people love chicken sweaters who knew chicken sweaters were a big deal I guess they are and then I had a friend a while back give me a whole bunch of yarn her name's Wendy Blakely she lives in Texas she she follows this channel she makes comments quite a bit she gave me six weight or number six or super bulky yarn quite a while ago and I decided I'm going to design some hats with that and you know there's there's a few tricks when you're using super bulky acrylic this is the extra large this is my favorite it's a little bit long for me so I need to shorten it and but I still may wear that I don't know but I love this mop palm it's so easy to make. I didn't have any fur palms, and I thought, well, I love a mop palm. Marley Bird got me started on mop palms. They're really easy to make and so much fun. You just, they just, they just, they look cute. I just like them. So I made the mop palm. This is the extra large, and I love that deep purple. And this is really sturdy. It'll really stand up on its own. I'll have that up on the blog soon. Then this is the medium to large size hat. It's a super simple hat also. This is the children, well no, this is the um, the tween and the extra small to small sized hat. And then this is the child size hat. There's the scene. This is the child size hat. So I love this. All right, so there's that. And then I'll be making the video for the round puzzle poncho very soon. Let me see if I can bring my mannequin in a little closer here. There she is. Isn't this a beautiful poncho? I'll be putting that up next. That will be my next video that I make. A few years ago, I had I had um, purchased uh, Caron Cotton Ripple Cakes and I made this Overbrook tea. And then Caron took away the Cotton Ripple Cakes. Yeah, no fun. And so we found out through testing that Mandela, uh, you can use Mandela yarn, the Mandela from Lion Brand. Um, that works for that. But then I was in Michael's, and you know what I found out? They've come out with cotton ripple cakes again. Cotton ripple yarn again. Yeah, I know, they call it cotton ripple cakes. They've come out with that again. So I'll be making the video for that Overbrook cotton tea probably closer to spring. But I want to talk to you about the Sweetheart Bash. Last year, 
we had a From the Heart series of crochet patterns. I designed several crochet patterns for the Valentine's Day, made the videos, and you all commented and shared your memories from Valentine's Day. I would love it if you would share your Valentine's memories with me. I wanna share you one from last year. This was from Crafty Critter. And she said, when my youngest granddaughter was about 10 years old, I wasn't married, so she decided that her and I would be va each other's valentine. So for the past six years, it will be seven now, so that girl would be 17, we get each other a small gift and spend the day together. Sometimes we go to dinner or cook together and play games. It is one of the holidays I look forward to, and I love that story. If you have a sweet, memorable, or romantic memorable or funny memorable Valentine's memory please share it with me in the comments I would love to hear it I need to share my funny um, Valentine memory and get that public it was hilarious I'll, I'll tell you about that another time but I want to share with you the sweetheart bash the sweetheart bash is an exclusive event and you will receive 28 crochet patterns not only that, you will have a chance to win some items. So we'll be playing games and the games are fun. The games are so much fun. I've done this sort of thing before and folks would stop me uh, when they'd see me out or if they saw me at church, they'd be like, what's the answer to that, that game you've been playing? And I'm like, I can't tell you yet. No one's answered the question. I can't give it away. So the games are really fun and I want you to come and have fun and fellowship. You have an opportunity to win a $25 Amazon gift card, this yarn tote bag made by me using Pioneer Woman fabric. Before I was deep into crochet and writing crochet patterns, I was sewing boutique children pageant wear. And someone, and I would make a little hat or a little crocheted accessory to go with a, a pageant um, outfit. And then folks started asking for the crochet patterns. And I was like, well, I didn't know that was a thing. So I started doing that. But I have been making handbags for years and years. This is a quilted handbag made out of Pioneer Woman fabric. Let me, let me tell you the dimensions. I measured it just a little while ago. It's 11 inches tall, 15 and a half inches wide. The handles are 28 inches from here over around to the other side, 28 inches, but they're not attached, which gives the handles a little bit more mobility. Um, and the gusset is three inches. It's fully lined and it has pockets on the inside. Now this is the one that will be given as a gift if you want it. I'm calling it the sweetheart bag because it has sweetheart buttons on it. It's so cute. So I have two of these bags. One is mine and one is for a winner. So here's how the sweetheart bash works. You purchase a ticket for $8.99. So all of the crochet patterns would end up being 32 cents a piece. And there are some very premium crochet patterns in the sweetheart bash i will release two patterns a day but that's not the exciting part the games and the activities so that you can earn points the top point getter can choose either an amazon gift card 25 dollars this is in no way associated with youtube this is all sponsored by me chrissy's over the mountain crochet this giveaway and contest is specifically my contest has nothing to do with YouTube so a $25 Amazon gift card or a yarn tote bag and there is a third item it's a crossbody bag that has zippers a zipper in the front a zipper at the top and it has a monogram on the front and if you choose that if you win that you can choose your monogram shipping will be free in the lower 48 states only not Alaska or Hawaii or any other country. The shipping will be free only in the lower 48 states. So, the Sweetheart Bash. Last year, From the Heart was totally free. This year, it's just $8.99. And we'll be playing games. 
I'll get to know you better. I want to know you better. Purchase your ticket. And when you purchase your ticket, you will receive information on how to join the exclusive Sweetheart Bash. I hope you'll join me. I would love to have you join me. And don't forget, leave your Valentine's memory below. I'll put my Valentine's memory below. It was good to have you on my side of the mountain. And don't forget to buy your ticket. It starts on Friday. The Sweetheart Bash starts on Friday. You can join any time, but the bash starts Friday. And you want to get in right away. Oh, and I forgot. If you invite your friends and your friend tells me that they invited you, then you get points. So you can really earn a lot of points while we're playing games, having fun, drawing closer together, making greater connections with others that like to crochet and craft. And that brings joy and happiness to me. I am so looking forward to this. It was good to have you on my side of the mountain. I hope you'll come again soon. And I hope I see you at the Sweetheart Bash. Bye.